Welcome everybody to the Back Porch Fishing Show. This is the special edition of Voyage to the Bottom of the Keys. I'm out here, and I mean way out here, fishing in the sticks, so you don't have to. Come on, let's see if we can get some of these mangrove snappers to chew. They're right underneath my chum bag. I've got it deployed out there. It's only been out for about five minutes. Look at all these snappers. There's some big keepers in there if you can get past the little chumps. So I'm snapper fishing here. This is about three miles from where I've been anchored at in the community harbor. I went and bought a chum block today. Actually, I bought two of them. I only really needed one. Seems like they last a lot longer than I thought they would. Look at him, boy. Contact! <laughs> at any rate, though, I'm in this canal here. It's a cut between one of the islands. They dredged out the mangroves here. It's probably about 150 feet wide. Seems to be about seven to eight feet deep. And like I said, I've had my chum bag out here for well, maybe five or 10 minutes. I did learn a little secret real quick. Take the sinker off. I had a sinker on there. I was catching real dinks down on the bottom mostly and they wouldn't even touch it. I took that sinker off of there, just put a straight hook on there, and now I'm throwing little pieces of glass minnows out there, hooked onto just a hook only. There's no weight, there's no swivel or anything, and pretty much getting them as fast as I can get it in the water. Some big boats coming through here really fast, not giving the anglers any consideration at all, at all. Seems like the more money they got, the bigger and stupider they are. I think they think a wake is something like, you know, for dead people. Woo -wee. That was a quick hookup. Just tossed it in there and blam! Look at all the boats going by. There's some big ones coming through here, too. Whoopsie! Contact! Oh! <laughs> I've never seen so many snapper in all my life. Quick as you can get it in the water. Bam! Just one shake of that chum bag. Boy, they're all over it. Amazing. Just amazing. Was it worth the trip? I think so. Would I do it again? Yeah, absolutely. It's It's been quite an adventure. But now that I'm here, I'm going to find all the good fishing spots and see if we can't make them all do the magic word. What's the magic word, fishy? What's the magic word? Contact! Okay, if you like to eat fish, you're probably drooling at the sight of this. Look at all these fish. Shake a chum bag, just pop it. Pow! Like that. Man, they swarm it like piranha. As you can see, there's some pretty good size ones in there. They're just really smart. I think you got to use uh, fluorocarbon line. Go down to maybe even as low as five and six pound test fluorocarbon to get these bigger ones. Because they, they seem to be line shy. The water's pretty much crystal clear, as you can see. So I bought this chum bag here, and I bought two blocks of chum. You'll never guess where I got it. 
I got it from the Ace Hardware store right up on the corner that I went to the other day. Rode the dinghy over there and walked up. It's about uh, maybe a quarter mile. Walked up there and back. Got some bait. So all in all, I think my voyage to the bottom of the Keys took about 450 miles. Took me maybe 20 days to get here. Of course, I didn't every single day motor, motor, you know, go, go. I'd stop and rest. It was exhausting for me. There were some really nice uh, anchorages. You can go back through the videos and find them and you can you know retrace the journey if you want and you know right where to go and stop at the good anchorages because there they are you know i've got them named and a uh, little video of them ones that are really nice are as they say pretty nice you know you can dingy to shore and it's a close walk to any of the uh Win dixies or Higgly Wiggly, whatever they got there in that town. I had a lot of fun though catching these snapper. I got a few of them that were probably keeper size. I didn't keep any of them. I just tossed them all back. But I did enjoy it. But the trip down here at times was pretty scary. Like when the anchor line broke. I was drifting around in the inlet there at Peanut Island at uh, Palm Beach. I mean, there's cruise ships coming in and out through there. I'm sleeping and, and just drifting around. But the Cindy Mae, she knew where to go. It was amazing. She, <laughs> for some reason, I just looked out of the hatch and I was, you know, maybe 20 feet from going to the... Uh, dock there at, at the sailfish marina she's just slowly gliding up there so you know i got lucky there i learned things learned about getting some better chains for the anchor and thicker ropes newer ropes bigger anchors i learned a lot of things got scared a few times went through it did i think about turning around yeah, sometimes, but I didn't. I just anchor up best I could and, and hash it out, you know? What could I gotta do to continue this trip? I got stuck between two bridges, two draw bridges that, that wouldn't open on the same day. Amazing, just amazing. There's a keeper. Run, run, run. Contact! Ahoo! <laughs> Tell you what, that chum bag really kicks some butt. Just pop it a couple times like that. Man, they swarm that thing. Look at them. There's all kinds of fish in there. There, there were a few yellowtails, but they took off. But I've seen some pretty good sized nurse sharks coming through there got some of them on the video there underwater you can see it it's a shark coming they like to get in that chum too and munch it's like free munchies you know those bigger snapper in there they're they're smart A lot of tasty snapper there. This one, we're going to name him Jaime. Ahoo, Jaime! <laughs> so I'm using little uh, frozen glass minnows. I bought this all at the Ace Hardware, believe it or not. They got a pretty good bait selection. They got tackle, 
It's where I bought my chains, too, for my anchors. Just a short walk right up the street there from the community boat ramp. <laughs> it's a public ramp there. Down the bottom of Joe Gene Way or something like that. I'm betting, though, that you put a fluorocarbon line on there in the five, six pound range and a little teeny hook, you might get some of those snapper in there that a good two or three pounds. I sure am after them. I don't think I managed to get any up more than around a pound. Boy, they, they're quick on the bite. Look at that. Just bam, ba bam, ba bam. Come here, you. Ha, ha, ha. Just thinking, middle of February, I'm down here in shorts, t-shirt, no shoes. I'm catching mangrove snapper as fast as I can get it in the water. Yahoo! Another glass minnow. Toss it in there. Give that chum bag a shake. You gotta give that chum bag a shake. It really gets them gone. That's when you get the bigger ones because they get in there and they get greedy. They're all swarming around it. Hey, better, better, better swing. Oh, it's a little puke. You gotta watch these things. They got sharp everything. I got bit by one. He drew blood. Believe it or not. But if you want to get some really fast snapper fishing, <laughs> put out a chum block in the Florida Keys. Man. Unbelievable. And, and do they come up to that chum bag? It's amazing. They're within a couple feet of it. I'm surprised they don't pick it right out of, this, out of the bag itself, but they don't seem to. Must be some kind of pecking order. And there's Petey the Pelican out there. He, he wants me to toss him one of these undersized mangrove snapper, but I'm not going to. This is the great snapper slaughter, isn't it? Ba bam ba bam ba bam <laughs> the boats all around me they I guess they didn't bring a chum bag they're, they're not catching too much man as fast as I can get it in the water ba bam ba bam look at that pelican he's circling around he wants a a dinner I look like about a keeper mangrove right there in my hand what's the magic word Ah! Uh, must have been contact. Here, I got one on. Yeah. Getting real close to keeper size. Hey, hey. Contact! Na, 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 na. Yeah. Yeah. 
some big ones in there. I just need to hook one. And they're smart. Got you. Ha ha, Mr. Mango. Yeah. Get past the little ones to get to the big ones down there, I guess. streaming live earlier but the stream didn't seem to be very good i don't know if it was the computer or my wi-fi hotspot who knows but i want to thank everybody for watching and i'm going to get more good fishing spots and i'm going to share them with you see if we can get out to the pet reefs yahoo